Hi viewers, welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband. Today we are investigating a Whirlpool stackable apartment dryer that takes a very long time to dry a load. Here is the model number. I will go through some basic checks and how to solve this issue without having to incur the over $100 cost of calling in an appliance repairman. Also, you'll save time and Mother Nature's resources. Let's begin. Here are the tools that you'll need for this repair. First off, a catch-all bin, and I have done a YouTube video on how to make one, and I'll leave a card in the video itself as well as in the description below. A toothbrush, and I've customized this one to serve my purposes. Um, you can also do so. I've created a YouTube video for that, and I'll leave a card in the video itself as well in the description below. Gloves, which would be optional a multi-screwdriver, a long neck or a uh, longer neck plier to remove any bits of uh, lint that you cannot readily reach with your fingers, a vacuum and this is the hose attachment to my DC32, a small thin flexible pipe or tubing that you can hold in place at the opening of your DC32 or your vacuum end just with your hand alone and this will enable you to obtain suction on the other end which will allow you to remove lint from any crevices that you cannot reach and which are far away from the area that uh, you've accessed. I'm just using a thin metal skewer to prod and remove any and loosen any lint that I can see. And finally a flashlight. I've got my a gooseneck flashlight as well as my larger uh, Milwaukee flashlight that I'll be using. So that's uh, the total items that you'll need for this investigation and repair. Let's get on to it. The first step of this repair is to check the lint filter. In this case, remove it. Now if it's full or coated, empty or clear it as necessary. In my case, it was clear. Second step, check if the dryer is providing hot air. To do this, turn the dryer dial settings to high heat and run for 5 minutes. Open the door and see if it is warm. If it is warm, the dryer has passed this test. If it is not warm, then you may have a problem with the heating element in your dryer. In my case, the dryer was warm. The third step, check the outside vent that expels the dryer's moist air and see if air is blowing out of it. In my case, the air was blowing out of it, but very little. Fourth step, check the outside vent for blockage. In my case, it was blocked about 50 to 60% remove and clear any lint debris with a toothbrush and warm water, clean as much of the inside of the vent as well. Now note, someone painted over this vent previously and I did previously remove the paint. So if your vent is clogged with paint or any other obstruction, remove that. Finally, note the direction of the veins when you reinstall the vent screen it should be pointed away from the building or any windows. Here are pictures of both the vent, dirty and clean, as well as the opening, dirty and clean. Now, even after all these checks, the dryer still wasn't drying as well as it could. The next step was to check the lint filter opening, and boy, did we find a lot of lint jammed into this space. It appears that every time people were opening the door and removing the lint filter, some of that lint was still sliding into that opening and every time they replaced the lint filter it was being pushed in to that small narrow opening and gradually building up. Now this dryer is over 
10 years old. So over the years, that lint built up very, very significantly. Now, here's what the opening looked like after we removed about three handfuls of lint. Now, in order to access that particular area, we weren't able to remove a lot of lint from that small, narrow opening. Remove the inner lint grate to obtain better access. Now, remove all the lint. Use a small nozzle that I spoke about in my tool section to suck up any lint that is in unreachable areas. Here's a picture of the lint filter area after it was cleaned. I hope this video helped you save money, time, and the environment by reducing the use of your dryer and making it more efficient. Leave any questions below and leave a like if this video helped you. See you next time. Thank you.